Good morning, everyone. I'm Coach Spivey, joined with my son, Jordan Spivey, and welcome to another amazing science tutorial video. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the relationship between mass and gravitational force. So let's get started. So what is mass? The mass is the amount of matter in an object. So if an object has a mass of one kilogram on the Earth, it would have a mass of one kilogram on the moon, even though it will weigh only one-sixth as much. So what does this mean? It means that your mass never changes. So it doesn't matter if you're on Earth, the moon, Pluto, Venus, or Saturn, your mass will stay the same. Why? Because the amount of matter in you never changes. But if we take a look at your weight, your weight can change depending upon the size of the planet or the moon. So if you're on a planet like Saturn, Saturn is much larger than Earth, so your weight will be much larger. But if you're on somewhere like the moon, the moon is smaller than the Earth, then your weight would be much smaller as well. So it depends upon the size of the planet or the moon that you're on. So what is gravity? Gravity is the attraction between two objects that have mass. And look at this relationship. So the larger the mass, so the larger the object, the more gravity it has. And then the smaller the object, the less gravity it has. So for example, if you look at Earth, Earth has more gravity than the moon. Why? Because Earth is simply larger than the moon. So Earth has a gravitational acceleration rate of 9.81 meters per second squared. But we take a look at the moon, the moon has a gravitational acceleration rate of 1.66 meters per second squared. So let's take a look at this. The larger the object, the more mass it has and the more gravitational force it has. The smaller the object, the less gravity it has and the less gravitational force it has. So let's take a look at what is the attractive relationship between mass and gravity. And we discussed this on the last slide, but let's look at it another way and look at it on a graph. So the greater the mass, the greater the force of gravity. It is a direct relationship. So we take a look at this graph right here. If you notice, the force of gravity, as it increases and as the mass increases, so does that gravitational force. So as mass increases, gravitational force increases. As gravitational force increases, mass increases. Why? Because they are a direct relationship. Let's take a look at these two aliens right here. This alien is 100 pounds, so it has less mass than this alien over here. So that means it has less gravitational force. But if you look at this alien over here, it has it's 250 pounds and it has more mass. That means it will have more gravitational force. Once again, there's a direct relationship that we talk about. So let's take another look at it. So gravity is a force that acts between any two masses. Two factors affect the gravitational attraction between objects. And this is going to be our mass and our distance. The force of gravity acts between all objects. So everything in this universe, there's going to be that gravitational force. If the mass increases, the force of gravity increases as well. So if you notice, the mass of these two objects increase, so the force of their gravity increases as well. Now, if the distance increases, the force of the gravity decreases as well. So as these two objects get farther away from each other, their gravitational pull gets smaller and smaller. Kind of like when you pull two magnets apart and pull them apart a farther enough distance where they're not attracted to each other. So the greater the mass, the greater the gravitational force, the greater the distance, the less the force of gravity. So let's summarize. So here's a man on planet Earth, and the man has a mass of 100 kilo, 120 kilograms. And then if you look at the same man on the moon, he still has a mass of 120 kilograms. Like we stated earlier, your mass does not change. Now look at this. His weight on the Earth is 1,200 newtons. So we take that mass, 120 times 10, and this 10 is rounding that 9.81 meters per second squared, that gravitational acceleration. So that's where that 10 came from. We take that 120 and multiply it by 10, and he has a weight of 1,200 newtons on the Earth. But now, if we look on the moon, he has a mass of 120 kilograms, which, is not, which does not change. But look at his weight. His weight is only 200 newtons. Why? Because the moon has a smaller gravitational acceleration. So it has a smaller gravitational pull. And why? Because the moon is much smaller than the Earth. Notice, the larger the object, the more weight it has. The mass stays the same no matter what. And then the smaller the object, the less weight it has. And that's why on Earth he's 1,200 newtons. 
and then this astronaut is 200 newtons on the moon. Now it's time for your check for understanding. And you're going to answer the following questions based upon your knowledge of the relationship between mass and gravitational force. You have seven minutes to complete this and I'll come around to your desk to ensure that you're answering your questions properly and that you actually have learned the material properly. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Coach Spivey, signing off with my son Jordan Spivey, and I hope this science video tutorial was helpful over mass and gravitational force. Once again, have an awesome, peaceful, and positive day. Peace.